I am TapTap, -tap and it is once again a new month, and that means a new Abyssrium event. Every event is pretty much exactly one month. And one thing somebody asked earlier was that, oh, you should wait till you've gotten all of the things to do a video. The problem with that is it would actually take several weeks because there's always something that isn't possible to get. Um, I believe in the case of this one, there's like some robot thing. This thing apparently does not have unlock conditions, and it probably means there's going to be a bingo they release a week or two before the ending of the event, and you just literally can't get it until then. There's always things like that, and it's really dumb and annoying, but that's that's kind of the name of the game anymore, unfortunately. So, as always, if my guides and stuff help you, please check out my Patreon or my... Um, you can become a YouTube member by clicking that Join button just below the video and uh, that helps me make guides and stuff so first thing you want to do any event you click these little candies above the fish's heads you get enough pieces of candy and you can buy this die buy the die first because that unlocks the hermit crab and the hermit crab is your main way of getting the currency for aesthetics and sometimes unlocks I recommend just buying the costume and the theme as well um, it's almost always required that you'll get one of them or both of them so we get a hermit crab and you can either charge up the hermit crab by tapping enough candies or eventually you can watch an ad to do it the events are basically watch a ton of ads as you will see as soon as we get into the um as soon as we get into the actual fish so two new features i'll cover just before we get into the hidden fish when you're taking pictures of fish you can press this button to see which things you can take a picture of and um Apparently a count of how many of them. Oh yeah, you can cycle through them. That's that's kind of neat. Um, pretty minor feature, but hey, <laughs> it's the one of the first features they've added in over a year that wasn't just you know an event. Uh, and the manage fish thing also now has manage extensions, which again they need to decide whether it's extension or expand because if you look down here, if you look down here, it's still expand. It's, it should be extend, considering everything else it calls it extension, but whatever. So, with that out of the way, let's get to the new fish. Let's review them. <laughs> this guy cracks me up. It's almost a mini-or. It's like an off-brand mini-or. Yellow Planet Sea Urchin. I, I I like him, though. He's got, he's got heart. He's got spirit. <laughs> Red Planet Sea Urchin. I like this one a little bit better. He's got a ring. I mean, most planets not cool enough to have rings. This guy got a ring. See, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll rate him above that. So anytime it says place a thing, that's in the expand quest thing. I events have like six plus different menus you have to learn now. It sucks, but <laughs> that's just how they always are. So if it tells you to take a picture of a thing that's not a fish, usually you need to come in here and it's like, oh, see, you know, gotta get the tiles to do all this crap. None of these things are hidden, so I'm not going to go through them, but they, they should all explain themselves. They might be a little glitchy and weird, but the, they should be easy enough to figure out. There's also a quest to unlock the big fish, uh, daily checklist to get, you know, a bunch of crap. There's pretty much always these same things every time. This item can be decorated in the expansion. Again, they've five years now and they never hired a localizer or translator or even just an editor really anyway back to the fish blue planet sea urchin eh, you know we're kind of running this a little bit thin oh oh watch ad oh oh that's rough <laughs> watch ad 20 times i've heard there's multiple ones that are just like that so again none of the fish are hidden um this one doesn't have an explanation yet no this one no not that. <sighs> This one. Uh, I assume this one just gets an unlock added later. They, they always do this. I don't know why, it's so dumb, but ugh, whatever. The, the new developers just kind of suck. Um, this guy looks like he's thrusting. He's, he's fitting a thrust. Look at that. Planet Sea Lug, too lewd, do not approve. Create three Starlight Sea Slugs. So if it's a thing, if, if, if it's a fish name and you don't know where it is and it's not in the regular fish list, then it's always in here. It's in this thing. Also, they have expansion things are in this thing now, too. So again, <laughs> they've added yet another menu. I, I wish they would just be able to cram all of these in one menu. They tried to put it all in here, but they didn't quite have the heart to do it. I don't know. I don't know. 
it's it's a mess. It's a bloody mess. Space seahorse. Use delicious food 15 times to space box fish again. Hire an editor, please. Like, hire me. I'll, I'll fix your stupid text. It wouldn't even take that long. It's just so... It's honestly disrespectful to their player base to not give this much of a crap after millions, literally millions of people have downloaded and played the app and, you know, watched millions of ads per person, you know. So when it says two space box fish, that means you have to have a space box fish out in the tank. They've had that same bad wording for five years now. They've never fixed it. Space Villain Dumbo Octopus. Make two moon mobile extensions. I'm not usually a big fan of the literally just a critter with like a, a, a hat taped onto it. But I'm a sucker for the like retro 60s space vibe. So I, I'm okay. I give him a 7 out of 10. Planet Football Fish. I, it's not bad, but I feel... I feel compared to the sea urchins, he's wanting someone. Create three starlight nautiluses. So again, that's just create the old fish from the old thing. Space transparent sea toad. Okay. Just literally a ghost. Um, place space observatory extension. So again, that's in the expand quest thing. Space villain Ray. Oh, I like this one. Oh, look at him. He, he looks like he's like a Tron enemy or something. I like that one a lot. That's a good one. That's some actual creativity going on. That's cool. Create one rock and extension again. That's the expand menu. Um, Space Dolphin. He looks like a cross between Wall E and that PlayStation VR robot dude. Um, I have no idea if those have names. The Astrobot rescue dude anyway space villain rays again same same unlocks basically every time uh, no nah I, mm, too little effort was expended on this one it just looks like a low poly hammerhead shark place two passions waste space bench so when it says place two you have to buy a second one you can buy a second one the same menu that you purchased them from i'm sorry that just looks dumb I want to like him. I like Marlins a lot. I like stars a lot. Um, crescent moons are cool, but it it just looks dumb. So it three Earth extensions. So you have to again, you have to buy more. <laughs> he's got he's got rocket exhaust. So good for him. Spaceship. F oh, look at that! Look at that seam. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's kind of. But the rest of them's all right. Space Sunfish, use Song of the Moon 15 times to Starlight Orfish. So again, just use use that skill when that fish is in the tank. Space Jellyfish. Oh, it's the expensive one. Oh, that sucks because it's nice. It's a really nice fish, but it's going to be super expensive because it's the whale, quote unquote. So it's going to cost like 30,000 candy. That sucks. So yeah, that's the one where you have to own all of the previous fish. To unlock Star Prince, he's from a previous event. Space Battleship Whale! And it's pink. It looks like a Samurai Pizza Cats like thing. That or like a really weird sea themed Evangelion like robot. I give it a 7 out of 10. It's for a whale, it's pretty decent. I like the, sh the shininess, is nice. They usually don't have that kind of effect on them. Um, so that's kind of nice. But they kind of just piggyback too much on the idea that people like whales. Sea Robot Butterfly looks exactly like... Well, I, I guess it's a pretty common robot design. But it looks a lot like that PlayStation VR robot they, dude. Um, that's... We don't know how to get that. Uh, that's just a paid thing. That's just a new... That's just a new bird. <laughs> there's, there's birds in this game now, by the way. Not sure why, but the birds, you go in here for the birds. The birds are singing! That's the, you know, lucky bumble. So, I think that's basically it. God, look at this, look at this UI, it's such a mess. Oh, there's UI elements everywhere! Oh, there's the seahorses and the damn UI! Disgusting! <laughs> Alright, let's see him do his dance, there he go. Alright, that's basically it for the event. Um, there will probably be some BS that is released later on. I don't know why they do that. It's really annoying and dumb. But 
I'm sure it won't be hidden anyway. <laughs> so, that's the event. Enjoy, I guess. I w will not be partaking. I'll make one fish. Just, just so the game sees that I have played it. I will make one fish. And that's it. <laughs> I, I have no intercourses remaining to give. <laughs> so, <laughs> good night, everybody. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. I will see you later.